guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a what's in my mini Dior bag video. Basically, since I got this bag on my honeymoon, well in addition to giving me compliments, a lot of people have asked me how many things I can fit in a bag, what do I think about the bag, and whether or not it's durable. So I will be answering all of those questions in this video. Hopefully that can help you if you're trying to purchase a Dior bag, either in the size, color, shape, pattern, or if you just want to know what fits in this bag out of curiosity. Hopefully all those questions will be answered in this video. So if you're new to this channel, welcome. Thank you so much for joining the family. Thanks for joining the fun. I release videos once or twice a week covering a wide variety of topics and I would love it if you stayed and subscribe to the channel as well. If you could also turn on your notifications that way you get notified when I upload a new video that would be helpful as well. It really helps the channel. If you do like this video be sure to give it a nice resounding thumbs up and share it with your friends and your family members and let's keep our community growing. Just a brief history of the Lady Dior bag. As you may know, this bag is named after Princess Diana when she was often referred to as Lady Diana. Initially, Christian Dior made the bag and it was called My Lady. And I think it was called either My Lady or My Dior. And they gifted her one of these bags in the bigger size. It's not this one, this is a mini size, but in a bigger size. And she loved it. She carried it everywhere and it just became a staple for her. So they then named it after her, Lady Dior. So the bag comes in different colors and sizes and shapes as you can imagine but this is the smallest size this is the mini version there is a size above this which is called my lady dior and then there's a medium and a large i probably will not get a large or a medium if at all i am going to get another dior bag it will probably be another mini dior bag or maybe my lady dior as far as colors goes it comes in different colors black white blue yellow purple you name it it also comes in exotics as well so they have crocodile version they have the lizard and snake skin which they're all gorgeous this style is a very unique style and it's a style that's going to be around for a very long time i mean i think this style was put together back in 1991 so it's something that's gonna be here over and over and over so it was on my wish list for a very long time I wanted it I actually initially wanted it in the size my lady Dior but when I saw this in person I just fell in love with it and it's more sentimental to me because I got it during my honeymoon and it's just something that will forever be special to me because Italy was great, oh, my honeymoon was great, I had an amazing time and just getting this purse during that time is just an icing of the cake altogether. So I'm really excited to share with you guys um, what I think about it. So far so good. I've carried it a couple of times. All compliments, no questions, no problems, no trauma, no issues at all. It's exactly what you expect it to be. It's small, it's cute, it's dainty, and I love the pearlized finish. The only thing I'll let you know that this is lambskin, so this is a very soft leather. So the edges of your nails are really sharp, you can actually damage this purse, so you have to be really careful with it. Um, Realizing that, I knew that this was something that I'll have to carry with care. And being that it's a small bag, it's not something you carry when you're, you know, going grocery shopping anyway. It's something you take with you for special events, cocktail parties, dinners, you know, nice events with friends and family. And those two things actually work together. The fact that it's a very delicate purse and it's very selective. That way, you can use it for what you need to use it for without feeling as though it's been overly used because its size makes it impractical for you to use it every day if you know what I mean. Well, except your vacation, but overall it's not a bag for everyday use. So yeah, I really like it. The color is very different, it's very unique. And I also got a Dior Mitza, as you remember from my unboxing video. If you haven't seen that, I'll link that below so you can check it out as well. And I got it with the initial R, which reflects my husband's name and my new last name. Although the process of me changing my last name has not been finalized yet, it is going through and I'm excited that I'll be changing my name to reflect this so that way it all comes together. I also have another scarf, I also have another pizza with my initial of my first name, my middle name and my private last name but so far so good. I really like it. Now what do I have in this bag? I'll go ahead and show it to you. Right now I have it without the straps. Since I've been using this bag I've taken the straps with me every time. Um, Maybe tonight I will not take the straps because I'm wearing this purse tonight, I don't know, we'll see. But I always take the straps with me. So the first thing that's in my mini Lady Dior is the straps. 
because it can get tedious just carrying this around like this you know so every now and then if you want to switch it up later you can always wear the straps and I think that's one of the reasons why I always carry the strap with me so I'm just gonna go ahead and put the straps on now so yeah that's it so that's the first thing that I have in this bag and as, as you can imagine not a lot of things can fit in this bag just because of the size how it's made and the fact that it has a flap in here that takes quite a lot of space so I'll just show you exactly what I can fit in here which is usually exactly what I need for events when I'm taking this purse with me so the first thing in there like I already showed you guys is a strap and then the second thing is my cell phone it's big enough to fit a cell phone which is good and this is the iPhone 7 plus so it's big enough to fit the cell phone and I have my case on the cell phone so that's good unlike my Prada wallet and a chain and my Bottega Veneta nut clutch those two clutches when I carry them I just have to carry my cell phone which is quite annoying because I like to at least put my cell phone in a purse no matter how small it is but I can't with those purses I can with my two YSL purses but I can't with my Prada and my Bottega Veneta and I can with this one so that's a major major win for me so if you have an iPhone 7 plus or bigger you should probably be able to fit it in here and if you have a smaller phone you definitely can fit it in here and I have in here my Prada wallet note card wallet card, wallet holder, whatever it is, mini wallet, I can't remember the exact name right now, but I have it here, it works perfectly for events like this, that way I don't have to take my big ugly, guys my wallet is so ugly, it's so huge, I have so many things in there that I don't need, but I always feel like if I take anything out of it, I'm gonna need it the very next day, so hoarder problems, but when I'm going out I get to put, you know, things in here, in my tiny little product, card holder, that's the name, card holder, and it has my you know bank card and my driver's license pretty much all i need so that fits in here as well and i have my hand sanitizer small hand sanitizer it's one ounce hand sanitizer and i take this because when i go out either to dinner or meeting with friends and people or events i shake a lot of hands and i like to keep my hand sanitized and clean so i have my hand sanitizer that fits in there as well and I have two items that can fit in here as well. I have my Dior lipstick, or any lipstick really, it doesn't have to be Dior, but it happens to be the one that I have on right now. And this is in the color Rouge Dior, Choup de Chic. Um, it's one of those ombre lipsticks. I think I bought it and I vlogged when I bought it as well. So it fits very, very snugly in this purse. And I have my lip gloss from Revlon, which I put over my lipstick, and it fits in here as well. So that's it. You know, it's perfect for what you need when you're going out with friends, when you are, you know, going to an event that doesn't require you to carry a lot of items with you. It's perfect for date nights, it's perfect for night outs, it's perfect also for cocktail events. And yeah, it also can surprisingly fit a good amount of things, including the strap. So like right now, I am going to take the straps off until later at night. And later at night, if I do decide to put the straps on, I like having the option. You know, to put the straps on but overall for right now I can just take the straps off and wrap it and put it back in a purse and it fits and yeah all I am taking out of my purse and put back in my purse and it fits it's a little heavy because I had a strap inside and the strap is made of um, champagne gold plated chain so that's pretty heavy but overall, it's still very snug, it's still very cute, I really like it, and I look for avenues and opportunities to wear it. Now, obviously, if you're wearing something big and bulky, you can't just put your hand through it, you're like your wrist through it, it's going to be too much. But instead, just, you know, hold it like this, and it's very unique, dainty, and cute, so, yeah. So I hope this was informative to you to the extent that you are curious about what fits in the Nina Lady Dior Mary view so far, how to care for it, and just what it looks like and what you can fit into it. This purse gets a 10 over 10 recommendation for me just because it's cute, it's unique, it's classic, and it's something that I'm going to have for a very long time. It also is something that's high in sentimental value for me for obvious reasons. So I really like this bag and I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope that I was able to provide you with some information 
mention with regard to my mini Lady Dior and all mini Lady Diors out there as well. If you like my video, be sure to hit the like button. I really appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. If you are, thank you very much. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I truly appreciate it. And let me know if you'd like me to do more videos with regard to reviewing either the Neverfull. I've already done one about my Chanel Jumbo, what's in my Chanel Jumbo. But I do have YSL purses and other clutches and other things that I would like to review with you. Um, so we can talk about the history, what fits in the bag, and pros and cons of each bag. So yeah, just go ahead and let me know if you'd like to see that. And leave that in the comment section below. And I'll take that into advisement when I am putting together content for you guys. In the interim, thank you so much again for stopping by and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Thanks for hanging out guys. Bye.